Hello and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to get chatty with you. I'm going to let you know why I've kind of semi been disappeared for about the last month. Uh, it's been a little craziness, but in between or as I'm using new products, I'll get you semi up to date on, on all the craziness. But um, some of these products I've used before, a couple of them are my absolute staples and then we have some that I have not used before and really looking forward to trying those out for the first time. So if you want to see what I've done to create this more natural look for me, maybe over the top for some of you, but definitely more of a natural look for me. Okay, I hope you so stay we're going to get started using some new products to me, some new products, some old products, and just kind of, I don't, I guess kind of creating just a nice everyday look. We say that now. Wait till we get started. We'll see if it stays every day. Okay, I'm going to try this new foundation, CYO. I've not done a review on this, but we're going to go ahead and uh, use that today. I've already did my favorite priming spray, which is from Scandinavia. I ordered that on Amazon and have that. You can actually have it shipped to you on a normal basis, so if you know how often you need your Scandinavia shipped, it will ship to you when you need it. That way you don't have to keep ordering, which I love. Anything to take down stress. Okay, so I'm just using my little foundation brush. Sometimes go between the brushes and the sponges. This foundation CYO can be found at Walgreens. My local Walgreens here in Texas doesn't carry it, but I did order it online. I'm going to go with the Catrice Camouflage. This is in the color Natural Light 05, which is my favorite inexpensive dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. And this one actually is a little bit brighter than the Tarte Shape Tape, which I kind of like. I'm going to use the Ofra Oil Control Powder right over the top. I think I'm going to use some of the MAC NC15 powder to go over the Ofra since I look like a little ghost. And we'll see if we can't warm that up a bit. All I have to say is thank goodness it's the weekend. So if I screw up this look majorly, it's only my husband that has to see me. And if I got makeup on on the weekend, he ain't gonna complain, I can promise. <laughs> See, I'm gonna pick up the NARS Orgasm. Cause who just doesn't like that name, period, right? All right, we're getting this face warmed up. So I've kind of been offline for about a month. Now I did have some videos that I had stored up, which was really helpful because this last month has been absolutely not fun. I'm going to go in with the NYX lip liner. This one is in the color beige. I ended up a week before Christmas getting the flu. And what you won't see in this video is how many times I'm still coughing. So I think it's January 14th now. Actually, it is January 14th when I'm videoing this. So exactly a week before Christmas, I get the flu and it's still here. So it's crazy to me. And I went to the doctor. That obviously didn't work. I'm gonna use the color Abstract from Urban Decay. And when I say I had the flu, like I was asleep for eight days solid. Like there was no waking up. My husband was so afraid that he was gonna get it. God bless him. He actually would come check on me, but he stayed in the house we're renting until March, which really just kind of cracks me up. And truthfully, I don't, I couldn't have handled him sick. So I handle sickness way better than him. So many man jokes, so little time, right? Okay, I'm going to use the J-Cat Perfect Brow Pencil. Can't remember if I like this one or not. So anyways, he would come over, check on me, make me drink fluids, try to get me to eat. The great part about being sick was I lost 10 pounds. 
So I can't exactly complain because I had reached my all time high in weight. So the flu bug kind of took off 10 pounds for me and now has got me thinking about losing the rest of the 30 pounds I need to lose. The difference between being older now is if I lose it, fine. If I don't, I'm not devastated. I guess with age comes wisdom of just being happy with who you are. Now, I don't like being, you know, at, I didn't like being at my all-time high, but I wasn't devastated either. Now, if I was younger, when in my younger days, I would have absolutely been devastated. So that's the part about age that's wonderful when you get comfortable with yourself. You're just like, eh, whatever. It'll, it'll come and go. Okay, so I'm using this MAC Times 9 palette. I believe I got this at Macy's. Got it at a department store, again online. So this is their dus Dusky, not Dusty, Dusky Rose Times 9 palette. It does have the colors on the back in small writing. I'm just gonna make it really easy for us. I'm gonna point. So we're gonna start right there. I was sick basically all through Christmas and into New Year's. I actually slept till three o'clock on New Year's and one of our neighbors asked us to come over. So I did get up and get ready and go over their house for a little bit. So that was fun. But in between Christmas and New Year's, my grandfather passed away. And my grandfather is like one of my best friends. So you'll hear me on these videos talk, you know, kind of about my sister-in-law because she's adorable. Her husband is one of my best friends. My sister-in-law is one of my best friends and my auntie is one of my best friends. My grandfather was just an amazing man. I'm gonna go in with this color next. We're gonna start warming up that crease line. So in fact, he, his birthday is in January and I was supposed to go out and visit him this month as I always joke with him and call it male bonding. And so he ended up unexpectedly passing on the 28th of December, which has definitely shook my world. I actually lived with my grandparents for a bit of time when I was little. And then as I was growing up, I would go to Las Vegas and stay with them for the summer. My grandfather had a scooter, moped, and he also had a um, motorcycle. He would uh, basically put a helmet on me, and again, it was like between 10 and 12, and we would drive the back streets in Vegas to get to his work at NCR. And we just tootle all around together and have a good time. So as I've gotten older, I've gone out there and visited him and my grandmother. And we always go to out to eat and uh, my grandfather likes to hang out with this group of retired people and they drink coffee at 6.30 every morning at Panera in Vegas. And then afterwards he would go fly drones um, like at the inside of a YMCA kind of place there with his friend. And we would just laugh and have a great time. Since my grandfather worked at NCR, he also has a lot of management experience. And so sometimes when I would be having a tough time with something at work, he and I, you know, he would tell me his stories and I'd tell him my stories. And yeah, it was just, we just had this like amazing relationship. So my husband goes out to Vegas every, every year to go spend time with his dad. My grandfather lives on one side of Vegas. My husband's dad lives on the other. And every year that my husband goes out, and that, that's been since 2006, he goes and spends time with my grandparents. So one of my last conversations with my grandfather was Rob FaceTiming me with them and just joking around, having a good time, laughing and getting ready to spend, knowing we're gonna spend time together this month. And he, he's just so cute. And he say, you know, Amy, you've always been one of my favorites. And I said, Grandpa, you know you've always been one of my favorites too. 
So that's kind of my last, one of my last memories of him actually seeing him basically through FaceTime. But as far as the favorites thing goes, it's, uh, it's not really a favorite per se as much as it is, you know, I think I spent time checking on him or talking to him and I couldn't go very long without giving him a call because he has the most amazing laugh. In fact, I've got some, I saved some of his uh, m messages that he sent me on my phone. And when you hear his laugh, it just lights up your day. Like you don't even need to know him. Just to hear his laughter will send you into absolute hysterics because it's so freaking cute. So anyways, it's been a really tough month. And yeah, it's just been a really tough one don't know what I'm going to do without them. Um, all right. So the next color we're going to use is this little brown boy right up here that looks like a nice chocolate color. So the thing about this Dusky Rose, I think it's just a great kind of neutral palette that is pretty. I'm having fun playing with this colors or these colors. Yeah, these are so pretty. And of course, you know, the matte colors go on nice. They're consistently good. I don't know that I ever really have trouble with the MAC colors. Whatever their formulas are, they just tend to be amazing. And who doesn't like amazing, right? Oh no, I just realized I took all of my... Oh, that's the other thing with this last month that's just been <coughs> insane. So, my husband and I are basically moved over a lot of everything to the new house. We're getting there. We're getting there. While he was gone in, on vacation or in Vegas, um, I painted and I had new flooring installed without him knowing because um, the house wasn't 100% ready for us to move in. So I'm going to use a dip brow pomade in soft brown and that's going to be my eyeliner today because I don't have any of my pencil eyeliners. I haven't really been here at my little I guess I call it a studio at the rental house and we haven't moved over everything so that's another reason that once I started feeling semi better that I still wasn't videoing because I'm really getting ready in the morning over at the other house the new house that we purchased and I haven't been over here to video and I haven't moved this stuff over so it's just been an absolute combo of craziness as to why you're only seeing maybe one or two videos a week from me instead of my normal three. But thank God I had all those other videos that I just had it released um, actually done and ready because you never know when life's just going to get in the way. And God knows life has gotten in my way this last month. So I'm hoping my husband will help me get everything moved over to the new house. I've got a new room that I'm going to make into my little filming studio. So I'm excited about that. We weren't sure what I was going to do at the new house with for a studio. But I think we have it figured out. Okay, so the, when all else fails, you can use the Dip Brow Pomade for an eyeliner. Alright, so I'm going to go back in with that chocolate color on the same uh, Morphe brush and just kind of smoke that out a little bit. One of the things that, now that I'm not crying or getting ready to cry anymore, that I realized with my grandfather's passing is um, I have no regrets. Uh, sometimes when people pass in your life, you, you suddenly think, I should have done more, I could have done more, I wish I would have spent more time with them. I'm going to take this color. The great part that I realized in this is that I don't have regrets. I talk to him on a regular basis. I would, with the exception of last year, because I took a new job in Texas, I couldn't travel for personal because, well, I could. I had the vacation time. I just won't if I'm not where I think my my job needs to be and my team still needed me kind of full time. So I didn't travel for other than my nephew's graduation. 
to see anyone this year. So with the exception of this year, you know, I go out and see him once a year. And when he passed, I realized, I'm gonna take this color here on a flat brush, is I had, I'm not regretful because I didn't spend time with him um, and my grandma. I am, so, you know, when people grieve, sometimes they grieve because they should have done more, or they should have done this, or they should have done that. For me, my grieving is because we still had things we were planning on doing. Like, he was talking about bringing his travel trailer and parking it here. Not that I don't have guest rooms. But taking, well, basically taking his time to come from Vegas to Texas and, you know, stopping when he needs to and having his travel trailer with him. And, you know, it's not, my grieving isn't for the past of what I should have done different. My grieving is for the future and what I'm going to miss out on because we're not going to get to do some of the things that we had talked about doing together. I am blessed in that way that I've had that opportunity to have no regrets for it because of the decisions I made. The other thing though, when you lose someone, it really just kind of shakes up your world a bit. And it also puts things in a perspective as far as, you know, making sure that you are spending quality time with the people that you love because you just never know when that moment may come and they're no longer there. And that's where I think, you know, most people's regrets come into place because they didn't take time to do what they wanted to do. I'm gonna go in, I do have an ink eyeliner. Part of this rant is make sure you're taking time with the ones you love. If they're far away, you know, send them cards, send them letters, send them text messages, all of them, because you never know what can happen and you don't want to be regretting that you should have told them you loved them. And when it comes to my brother, my aunt, and Sabrina, who are also my best friends, I, I think in my mind they have no doubt how much I love them because I do try to do those little things to let them know that I'm thinking about them or I love them. And if they don't, they better tell me so I can fix it. <laughs> but I do try to go out and see them also and spend time with them. I'll, I'll shut up now. I'll try to shut up, okay, guys? All right, we got the Better Than Sex. Um, my favorite mascara, Marc Jacobs, is over at the other house, so I don't have that with me. Even though I said I'm doing a more natural look, and we know natural is really hard for me, um, I want to try this new lash adhesive that I bought. It says Velour. I can't remember where I found this. I want to say Ulta. Just in scanning products because y'all know I like trying things. So I'm going to see how this does. I loved my, I think it was Revlon adhesive for false eyelashes. And unfortunately for me, like way bad unfortunately for me, I grew a allergy to it. And then my one eye would totally swell and look like Oh my gosh, it was horrible. So since then, I've tried a few other different eyelash adhesives. For the most part, most of them only affect this eye here, which is absolutely crazy to me. So I continue to be on the eyelash adhesive train to see which ones are going to work for me. So these I bent actually and kind of put a little bit of glue on the end to give it an even more kind of um, oh, arch so that they would go on even easier. So as you can see, they just kind of pop on really easy when you got a nice, really tight arch. I, I found that out on accident. So yeah, when you get a nice tight arch on these bad boys, they really go on super easy and I think that really helps too so like boom there we go um I think it really helps too that because if you can get them to do a really thick arch you just don't have the trouble with the edges lifting up like sometimes I do when I just pull them off they're normal um it'll be like ding ding or ding so again I'll pull them off the strip here kind of 
make them into a circle and put a little glue there until they kind of adhere to the edges adhere to each other and I leave them overnight and then when I pull off the tips they kind of um, keep that nice arch so yeah you could see how fast those babies went on right and I think because I haven't used this in a while I want to use the Fenty Beauty over the top of the Urban Decay color even though the Urban Decay color is nice and pretty and shiny we'll put on a little more shine with the Fenty Beauty okay so this kind of ends this super over the top chatty video I think I'm gonna go try to do something with my hair it is the weekend so I'm not pressed for having nice hair <laughs> but then I'll be right back. Thank you so much for joining my video today. Just kind of doing a chatty, get ready with me, trying some new products. It was uh, always a great time to use products and get chatty. So anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice. So make it a great one. Until next time, bye.